Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has nine scriptures. Eight I will recite for you first from the English Standard Version Bible. And the last one will be from the New King James Version Bible in a separate video. The first Bible verse is Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. And it reads, do not envy a man of violence and do not choose any of his ways. Second is the book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse 11, and it reads, The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. The third is the book of Isaiah chapter 60, verse 18, and it reads, Violence shall no more be heard in your land, devastation or destruction within your borders. You shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The fourth scripture is the book of Matthew chapter 7 verses 13 through 14 and it reads, Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The fifth scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 3 through 14, and it reads... As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming and the and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are but the beginning of the birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another, and many false prophets will rise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. The sixth scripture is the book of Luke, chapter 3, verse 14, and it reads, Soldiers also asked him, And we, what shall we do? And he said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats or by false accusation, and be content with your wages. The seventh scripture is the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 17 through 21, and it reads, Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The eighth scripture is the book of James, chapter 1, verses 19 through 20, and it reads, Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, 
slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Now for the message. Received from the Lord God on January 30th, 2024. A controversy is stirring in the wind, my beloved daughter. My children are stubborn. They won't listen or take heed of my commandments. A public controversy where people will soon be hurling accusations at one another. They won't bother to let me into their lives. They would much rather take things into their own hands. They feel as if no one understands them. They become bitter and hatred grows between them and the opposition. Soon it will be on a collision course with violence as an effect of their frustration to the system of democracy in your land of America. Violence is never the answer. Jurisprudence will be examined at length. They will see what's at stake. This will cause many to willfully break the law. They feel as if they've had to claw their way to the top and they are not leaving this vantage point. It will take a joint effort to sustain this democratic frame of your government. It is a house of cards. Pull one out from the wrong place and it will fall in on itself. A house of glass will shatter once a rock is thrown through the window. A house of wood will burn as tempers rage and sparks fly between the political parties. It is not cut and dry, but there must still be an honest willingness to compromise. This is how work used to get done in Congress. Not any longer. The loudest voices are the ones that are heard. Yelling matches across the aisle are absurd in a democracy. They want an autocracy because they feel they are not being heard. Freedom, whatever happened to that? With a dictatorship, don't they realize what they are forfeiting? Free speech and the right to assemble and protest, to name a few. This idea should make them tremble, but all they can see is their view. It's like they are wearing blinders. They need reminders of what the country was founded on. Many lives were lost in other world wars for the keepsake of free speech and a willingness to give and take. My beloved children, are you awake to the times in which you are living? If you do not start giving and stop taking from others, you will be forsaking the greatest democracy on the planet. Don't you understand it? This is why everyone is arriving at your borders. They are seeking a better way of life, a promise once kept, but now is being swept under the carpet along with the dirt hidden from view. This is an alert. Your enemies are coming for you. They see how your democracy is disintegrating right before your very eyes. You must realize an invasion is imminent. 
the North American continent cannot handle all of these immigrants without some type of a congressional agreement in place to manage all of these foreign faces entering the United States. Without a working government or monies dedicated to fund this immigration immigration crisis, America will be overrun with too many to handle or process. Your border is in a weakened state. Your enemies are seeing these vulnerabilities from overseas. They are thinking, quotation mark, this will be a breeze, end quotation mark. They can't even contain their border. Soon everything will be out of order. Then we will have the upper hand. We will invade your land, America. America, don't you see the enemy will be capitalizing on your idealizing of autocracy? Except your country won't be electing a di dictator. No. The dictator will be coming in from another land. The time is at hand, my beloved children. War is at your door, America. WW3 will be the catalyst for the invasion on your soil. Make a good act of contrition now, my beloved children. I will be coming for my own. I will be taking the children under the age of accountability. I will be taking up the first fruits of the harvest. I will not allow my children to endure another world war. Repent now. Relent from sinning and you will be winning my free gift of salvation. You are in the final inning of the game. Don't strike out and lose your faith now. You must be my faithful sheep to enter in at the narrow gate. My true bride is ready and they will not have to wait much longer to ascend. This is the end of the age of grace. Finish the race strong in me. Keep the faith, and I will keep my promise to thee. With everlasting love, Jesus, the only way to the Father's house. Therefore, pride serves as their necklace. Violence covers them like a garment. Psalm 73, verse 6.